Good morning everyone, it's Radish and I just woke up in the back of my Subaru. It's 4 a.m. in the middle of January and I am parked at the Three Lakes Snow Park at the base of Mount Bailey in Southern Oregon. It is 21 degrees outside. I gotta gear up and start the ascent of Mount Bailey. Mount Bailey is an 8,375 foot volcano towering over Southern Oregon's High Cascades near Crater Lake. My solo 14 mile route today climbs 4,000 feet from Three Lakes Snow Park up the Southeast Ridge to the Crater Bowl. From there, the route traverses the precipitous summit ridge, falling off steeply on both sides into Mount Bailey's infamous Avalanche Bowl before reaching the true summit. We've had an incredibly unusual dry January here in the Pacific Northwest, resulting in great weather conditions and a super stable snowpack. On a whim yesterday morning, I looked around for my next volcano to summit, threw my gear in the car and drove the four hours to Southern Oregon alone. I grabbed a few hours of sleep in the back of my car before gearing up for the climb. I'll be skinning up as far as my skis will take me before transitioning to crampons. We are geared up and ready to go. So because it's the mid of winter, the uh, forest roads that take you as close as possible to Mount Bailey are snowed over. So I've got kind of a nice cruisy approach on these snowed over roads until I actually start to climb. There's our first look at Mount Bailey up ahead. Here comes the sun. All right, I've reached the end of the uh, Forest Service Road section, and now I'm going to head over onto a side connector trail to the Mount Bailey Trail and continue on the Mount Bailey Trail up to the summit. The trail started off in a jack pine forest, typical of Southern Oregon's high desert. It quickly transitioned into a forest of hemlock, Shasta fir, and eventually wind-sculpted white pine. Well, I've left the skin track behind now, and uh, it's pretty much cross-country route finding from here. I think it'll be a little bit clearer once I break free of the trees and head up onto uh, an exposed ridge. We're getting our first views of Mount Thielsen across the way from um, Diamond Lake. I've made it up onto the Southeast Ridge, which is the approach I'm gonna to take to the summit from here. So since we're breaking through the tree line, should be uh, a lot more straightforward going up this way. It's getting really hot already, it's only 9 a.m. And uh, the slopes are starting to get pretty steep. We'll see how long my skins will hold up with this incline. There's Mount McLaughlin off in the distance. All right, so from here, I'm gonna continue up the Southeast Ridge until it hits the crater, which is somewhere up in there. And then follow the summit ridge over to the two, true summit, which is that rock over there. And come on back and ski down. There's a bunch of cougar tracks up here. It's getting pretty icy up here, so I'm gonna switch from skis to crampons now. I finally made it to the crater. Now I'm going to uh, traverse the edge of it and head up towards the summit. I love all these wind sculpted trees. They're like out of Dr. Seuss. All right, there's the rest of my path right up till there. There's been quite a bit of rock and ice fall 
past couple minutes, so I'm gonna put on my helmet. The snow's uh, warming up pretty quickly up here. But man, I haven't seen a single soul out here today. This is awesome. I have a whole mountain to myself. All right, this is the sketchy part. Doesn't look too, too terrible. It doesn't look too, too great either. Here we go. It's a long way down. But going back is not much better, so. There's a lot more exposure up here than I was expecting. So some pretty steep, high consequence drops on the ridge. I'm on the summit of Mount Bailey at 8,300 something feet, and it feels great. Oh, the views up here are amazing. This is the ridge line I just traversed up. Out in the distance, you can see some snowy peaks in uh, California's Trinity Alps. There is Mount McLaughlin, and in the background is Mount Shasta, really faint in the distance. This whole ridge line from this peak over to that peak forms Crater Lake. There's Diamond Lake and Mount Thielsen. Tip Sioux Ridge is right there. And then off to the north, we have Mount Bachelor, Broken Top, the Sisters, Diamond Peak, Mount Jefferson, Mount Washington, Three Finger Jack. And out to the west, it's just snowy forests all the way to the coast. So I'm back down to the full summit now. And I gotta say, I underestimated the last section of this climb. That traverse was pretty gnarly. I, definitely harder than anything on Helen's or Adam's that I've done. And it parallels some of the treacherous passes in the High Sierra when I was through hiking the PCT in 2020. But it's a great start to the climbing season. I'm just happy to be up here in January. We don't normally get weather windows like this in the Pacific Northwest. I think at this point I probably earned some food. All right, I feel better after eating something. 
now it's time to get back down to some uh, skiable terrain and ski out to the car. Nine hours later, 14 miles and 4,000 feet of gain, give or take. I'm back at the car and it's time for a parking lot beer and then the long drive back to Portland. Thanks for watching everyone. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like below. It helps me out a lot. And with that, we'll see you next time on Radish Uprooted. See you later.